Okay, so we're carrying on with um, reports and we're looking at calculations in reports. And one of the things that you might want to do is you might want to work out something in a report that might not have been done in a query or in the table. It might not be a field that exists. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to work out VAT on the cost price and then work out the total uh, with VAT. So let's say VAT was 14% which it is, at the, no it wasn't, it was 14% and it is now 15%. But now let's say for example, this list, our table for example, might have had the prices as 14%, where now we have to make them 15%. Let's fix that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to my uh, report design. I'm going to select my label and I'm gonna create a label at the top here. I'm gonna call that new VAT. Okay, so that'll be the new cost for VAT, the new price. Put that at the top over there. There we go. And then I'm going to add another label and we'll call this new retail price. New retail price. Okay, so do you see what we're doing, guys? So here we are. We have our new VAT amount there, our new retail price there. And this is all in the page header there it is there and this has been grouped according to category but I mean that it doesn't actually matter I mean this would work whether it was grouped or not so here's the detail section this is where we're going to do the calculations so the first thing is the VAT calculation so I'm going to go and I need a text box for this one so I click on my text box click down here now this little piece of text here I don't actually need that so I'm just going to delete that okay this part the unbound part that's the section I want because that's what works that's where we put our calculation so let us begin our calculation so what are we going to do well it's 15 percent of the cost price so we take what is the new vat amount so what is 15 percent of the cost price well it is the cost price and as you can see i typed the field the field name is there and i typed in with the square brackets don't forget the square brackets times 0 0.15 so that's 15 percent i'm just make that a little bigger so you can see there it is there so the new vat is 50, 15 percent so it's cost price times 0 0.15 let's run this and see how it's looking so go to my report view there it is there the new vat is 2 rand 42 8 rand 79 we can fix that obviously i mean we can see like you know what that's actually um not currency and all that let's just change it switch it back to currency there we go back to our view there we go that's a bit better and we can sort of make that come in a bit more so back to design view great move that in there so that's all fine and dandy, but we also need to have and work out the new retail price based on this new 15% VAT. So again, here is my text box. Click over there, go over there, right? There's my unbound box there. This text box I don't need, so I'm just click on it. So it's highlighted, delete it. Let's move this guy over here. Okay, so now we're gonna work out the new value for this thing so what is the new value well it's basically the cost price plus vat that is pretty much it okay and i'm going to go equals i'm going to use brackets so i can work everything out separately here so equals and i'm going to go cost price there we go there so i'm referencing cost price okay in square brackets and i'm going to say equals cost price um times 0 0.15 so that's what i've what i've done here is i've worked out the 15 percent first i'm going to make that a little wider for you and then i'm going to add the cost price field so do you see i know it seems a bit weird what, what i've done but what i've had to do is i created i first worked out the cost price times 0 0.15 there it is there. And then I added the cost price field as well. So let's see if that works, okay? Um, I'm gonna make this currency, 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 format, currency, there we go. Let's see if it worked. Go to my, oh, that is just so beautiful. There we go, cost price is there, VAT is there, new retail price is there. Again, it's not pretty, I apologize. I definitely need an award for the world's worst designed access reports. But it works, it works, and that is what is important. So you know what, in my layout view, I can actually just do that. Nice, switch back to design view. 
there you go guys I'm going to open this up if you want to pause it and have a look at it there it is there I'm going to move that across open that up as well for you there we go so now you can get a good look at both of those calculations so do you see what we did guys we have created there new VAT we worked it out we did a calculation there in the details section there I created another one called new t uh, retail price here I then went and worked it out these are not fields these are simply just titles this is where we do the working out and when I do reference a field it's in those square brackets and there you go guys